Julie Wood is the Chief Executive of the NHS Clinical Commissioners, which represents those who organise the delivery of NHS services in England. Uh, Julie, first of all, let's understand a bit more about who on earth you are. Uh, what is the role of NHS Clinical Commissioners? Why is that relevant in this debate? OK, thank you. So um, NHS Clinical Commissioners is the membership organisation for clinical commissioning groups that exist across England. There are 195 CCGs across England. Uh, different arrangements apply in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland. NHS Clinical Commissioners provides their independent collective voice at a national level so we represent CCGs at the national levels. As you say CCGs are the organisations that have the statutory responsibility to plan, organise and commission the majority of care that people receive and of course they are the people who will be making the decisions in England. So we think of it as the NHS, as the brand but it's actually those groups which are making these life changing decisions for us. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Within the NHS um, they have to live within the resources that they are allocated to them by NHS England and by government. OK. Well, let's begin with what at least I think sounds like a simple question. What is continuing healthcare funding and who should get it? Julie, how much do you get? Well... Currently, the NHS spends £3.1 billion of its NHS allocation um, to fund the 160,000 people that you've But, but individually, about. is there a cap? No, there isn't a cap. And uh, because it is based on the individual's needs, the level of funding that you get if you are found to be eligible varies significantly depending on the, the nature of your need, the complexity of your need. The uh, National Audit Office, when it, it um, looked at this area uh, fairly recently, um, did an assessment of the average annualised cost of CHC per person and reckoned that uh, that had increased by 9% between 2013-14 to 2015-16 from just over £45,000 to £50,000. So, hold on, £50,000 a year? Yes, that's an annualised cost, but, there is a but here, um, for some people, the actual level of CHC that they will receive, it doesn't last for a year. It may be that okay, it's at right. the end of their life. Look, and very briefly, really briefly, what sort of things does it mean? to cover? So it's meant to cover, as you said in your introduction, um, their, their health care needs. The key issue here, and it is a complex area sadly, is that in order to qualify the law, and it is the law in England, states that you have to have a primary health need but what it doesn't helpfully do is define that. <laughs> it says you need something but it doesn't define no, what that is. No, it doesn't define it clearly. How unusual and, for government to well, yes. behave 